Hi, so welcome to another tutorial on Python programming language. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to write a function uh, in Python. Okay, if you're familiar with other programming languages, you will be uh, you would have understood what a function is um, in the programming uh, in, in languages. Uh, well, a function um, is is only an automating uh, a, a, a different uh, in operations or different steps okay so if you don't want to write uh, the steps uh, or you know different steps in, in a programming language you can automate it by writing a function and you can just call that function whenever we want to um, you know uh, execute the same lines of code again and again okay um, so for example a function could be adding two numbers okay so uh, every time we want to add two numbers we just you know we can simply uh, use an addition operator and do the uh, addition instead we can write a function for that and then just provide the numbers that we want to add and then it's going to give us the uh, output okay so function uh, you know defining a fun writing a function you know it could be a simple one or it could be uh, a, a very so, uh, sophisticated one. The simple one could be, you know, adding numbers, subtracting numbers, multiplication of numbers, or more complex functions could be, you know, um, finding the uh, factorial of numbers, um, you know, or it could be even more um, complex. Okay. Okay. So let's try to uh, write. Uh, let's write a very simple function. So. Uh, how do we define a function uh, using the keyword uh, def def okay so we we'll write a function which is going to um, you know add two numbers okay so this let's call it as addition okay so we can give any name to it okay uh, make sure that uh, it doesn't class with uh, uh, with the built-in functions in python so uh, if, if it doesn't uh, uh, do not uh, give the same name as you, you would find uh, in the Python built-in function libraries okay so uh, define addition and then um, your bracket close bracket and semicolon and then uh, you know um, you want to add two numbers let's say we want to add um, okay uh, we want to add 100 plus 200 okay so what we'll do is right return 100 plus 200 right so all right so now we have defined our functions when we call this function what is going to return to us is by adding 100 and 200 so it's going to give us 300 right? so let's save this and then let's run this okay so we don't see anything in the output it's just that we have compiled the code now the function is defined it's kept somewhere in the uh, you know somewhere <coughs> in the background and whenever we will call it uh, it's going to provide us the result so let's call this function so to call it you just have to type in and then uh, when you press press enter it going to uh, it's going to give you the output okay so it just adds these two numbers 100 and 200 and gives the output now you can do several things actually it's not just you know adding numbers it could be uh, you know printing something like this okay print uh, okay the value is uh, three okay let's uh, Okay, what we can do is that we can simply assign it to a variable. Okay, we'll assign it to variable x. So x is 100 plus 200 and we will print what is x. Alright, save, run it and then let's call addition. Alright. So when we call addis, uh, the function addition, it, it prints uh, the value is 300 for us. Okay. All right. So this is a simple way of defining uh, a function. So let's move further and, you know, uh, slightly modify it. Okay. 
Now, this is hard coded. You can see that uh, you know uh, we have uh, we are adding 100 and 200. Right? So every time we run this function addition, it's going to only add 100 and 200. Right? And that's the limitation of this function. We may be interested in adding many other numbers. Right? More than um, you know some something else. It could be 5,000 to 8,000. It could be 10 plus 12. Okay. So how do we make it more generic? Okay. So that uh, we can uh, we can just choose any number and then uh, it's going to uh, it should be able to uh, find the sum of these two numbers. So how do we do it? So we will we'll use what is known as parameterization. Okay. So in the bracket we just define two variables num1 and then num2. Okay. So we are uh, passing num1 and num2 as parameters to this functions and in the, uh, in the function definition we just write num1 x equal to num1 plus num2 okay so x will add num1 and num2 by taking the values from these parameters and then print it uh, will print it for us okay now it's more generic now we are not hard coding like there is no hard coded value like we are not uh, you know adding the numbers inside the function we are defining any any two numbers now num1 and num2 can take any numbers and uh, we can get the sum of these two numbers it could be any numbers okay so let's compile this okay and how do we run this so whenever we run uh, a function which has got you know two parameters we just have to provide the parameters like there are two parameters num1 and num2 so let's say num1 is 100 and num2 is uh, 200 okay Okay, so the value is 300. We can we can we can add we can add any other uh, pair of numbers. Okay, let's say we want to add 2000 with uh, 5000. Okay, now it adds these two numbers 2500 and 5000 and uh, you know print the value 7000. Okay, so the value is 7000 as you can see it, it prints out. Okay. So that's that's about you know how you can define a function uh, by parameterizing it, and you are you have now uh, you know automated uh, the uh, you know task of adding two numbers. You know it, you can you can you can have as many uh, number of arguments. Okay, it could be you can have um, you can add three numbers as well. Okay, you just have to uh, change a bit. In the function definition, and it's going to uh, work for you. All right. So this is how we can, uh, you know, define. Um, you know, we can define a function, and you can execute a function or call a function. Okay. You can directly call a function from here also. Okay. You don't have to go to the prompt. So like here, it's three numbers are there. So let's say we want to add 10, 20 plus 30. Let's save it and run this. All right. So it adds it for us. So the sum value is 10 plus 20 plus 30 is 60. All right. You can use the output of one function in the uh, in the uh, in defining another function. Okay. So let's so okay. So let's define another function. Uh, we call it as subtraction. Okay. And uh, it has got one parameter. Let's say the parameter could be um, num1. All right. Now y, we define a variable y is equal to uh, num1 minus the output of the uh, function um, addition will be used. Um, in this particular expression. Okay, so y is num1 minus uh, addition of 10, 30 and 50. Okay. So what we are trying to do is we are using num1 from the parameter and then whatever is coming out from the function addition will be uh, that will be used uh, or that will be subtracted from uh, num1. 
Okay. So the output of function, the first function, is now being used inside uh, this second function. Okay. While defining the second function. Okay. So what you can do is instead of print, just write return. Okay. Return. All right. All right. And then we are going to print y. And then we'll call subtraction. We'll call subtraction. And the argument is 100. Okay. So what is going to do is uh, the num1 in this case is 100. So y will be 100 minus addition of uh, all three numbers. So 10 plus 30 plus 50 is 90. So 100 is num1 and then minus 90 is 10. So y becomes 10 and it's going to print 10 for us. Okay. So let's save it and uh, we'll run this and we should be getting 10 from this. Uh, five. All right. I can see uh, the number 10 is printed in the output. So that's how we can, you know, you can uh, play around with it and learn uh, about more about function. You can write more complicated function like, you know, writing a function which will uh, give us the output, uh, the um, the factorial of a number. You can you can write a function which is going to, uh, you know, find out the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle. Uh, you know, you can do all sort of fun things by defining, uh, you know, functions for you. And you can also use the output from one function in defining another function. Okay. So that's about functions uh, in, in Python. So in, an, in, in another video, we'll uh, learn more about functions and we'll use uh, if else condition um, and then looping condition inside function and we'll write more uh, uh, complicated uh, or difficult functions. So please subscribe to the channel and uh, thank you.